in our last session we saw that how to create a parent and child uh, page today we are going to look at little differently like you know now let's see what are we going to develop i kind of little summarize it then we'll go one by one uh, let me look at the table structure today we are going to have look at the setup of the data like you know i was going a concept it is more like a like you know a statement setup so like you know we create as yes this is also parent and child in the these are three levels okay the parent level like you know we create a, a setup which which doesn't have a data itself is a combination of key person id the period id and the statement id okay statement id is not part of this table because the period id is a child of a parent id so that is the things we have it but when you are coming to set up we choose the statement then we choose the period okay so its child is page develop level page say like for a statement how the page look like what is having page probably it might be having only name i believe uh, yeah it is also have a period id which is coming from a parent we can and the that uh, statement id is that again uh, the parent key and uh, is just a name nothing else is here then that child, for every page there will be data the data look like is a present data okay that has an amount one amount to currency the display date page definitions this id we also add a one more uh, probably we add a one more key uh, a page can be child of this one so we know that like you know there is a kind of a rotation we can do that so let me add a key called uh, uh, field sub page id sub page id so we do such a way that uh, these are these definitions okay now what happened how do we do that if there is a sub page is there the amount may not be there okay amount 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 date this should not be displayed either you have all this data or you have a sub page or like you know the page can be a child of another page that is how the things goes okay now what we do today i have already created a small setup page which is which is basically using the like in a statement period person and all the stuff we are going to do every edit here we'll do the edit part of a child i mean the manage page we'll have a search button here not a search text so that will search the uh, that will search within the statement or we can say that we can also make the search that uh, statement period anything it can search that 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 is how we'll we'll try to do that okay but i am not sure these are the name whether it's searched properly i have no idea but we will try to do that okay i have done that preview earlier because normally we search it on the data here uh, okay we'll see that how it, how does it work okay let me have a text here add a text box in that uh, child here we can add a text box and like an input text input text okay. let me can add it. I don't know where it is out here I don't know we don't need that yes Okay, we can add an input text here. The input text. Input. Input text. We will have input text here. That is fine. So I will have a I'll add a, a variable and that will okay, it's not about the base. 
let me copy and put it here in that. So I'll create a variable, then I put the value of that, like you know, into that part. Input test. In the data probably a value. Okay, we'll create a variable from here. Create a variable. Okay. Search text string. Okay. Create that. Now, whatever we are searching here, that should search the statement name. Now, what we do here, like you know, uh, we go to the vari like variable. Now let's see what are the things we are having it here. I have a period ID here, period object is here, person object is here. Uh, like, okay, let me search it first on a person level, then we'll go this one. Or we'll go it in a statement level. That is also fine. I can do a statement the name, or I can do that. Let me search it on a statement level name, then we go on that, uh, like, you know, person and everything first. Okay. Now, what I do here is, I have a variable, okay, here, I do a criteria, filter criteria, okay, I am adding a criteria here, I go with a statement name, let me go with a, okay. Let me close the link here. Let me find the statement name. The name does not be the ID object. The name does not personal ID object. Put the statement name. Like. Okay, contains is fine. Contains is fine. I I have a search a variable search text. I am right. Variable. Search text. Okay, now let's see how does it works. Now the statement that the criteria is going on that the statement name contains the search text. Okay. Now let me run the page. Go to statement setup. Okay, this is true bit. Okay, that will be I would say bonus. Statement. So it is not working. Let me go here. I change the criteria to person name. Let's see what will happen. Okay. Filter criteria. Now let's see. Okay, person name. Here, ID object. Person, person name. Let's see. Object is contains. Now let's see that part. Uh, okay. Okay, let's say yes, yes, yes. Okay, the filter is working, but why it is not working on not working on statement name? Let me check that part. SSS works. So now I can put the R on period. Okay, now I can say here MIC Michael is okay. The filter on a person name is working, but the statement name is not working because the calculated field. That's the reason it is so basically we cannot put a criteria on the calculated field. Okay, 
Now let me see our condition match any. Am I right? So I can add a condition here. Okay, add a condition. I say let me close this one. I go to period. I go to period name. Period name contains period name contains uh, the same variable. Am I right? So uh, variable search text. So here basically same. So okay, if we are looking at that, we have two criteria in our conditions. Okay, if R this one. Okay, now we go and work on the same thing again. Okay. I can reduce this one like you know box, but okay, leave it for the timing now. Uh, okay. So, um, One is not working. Okay, one is working. Yes, one is working. Uh, say if I say NAR, okay, filter on NAR item. If I say 2021, either you can filter on this one or you can filter on either one, you can filter on that. Either one, that. Now, let's see whether we can bring a statement. I really don't know, but let's see whether we can bring a statement into that picture. Now, let me go to the filter criteria. So basically what we are doing is we are having a text, text is attached to a variable, the variable used in the criteria. That's all we are doing here. Now let's see, can I add one more? Probably, yes, uh, add a condition. Okay, add a condition. Okay. Period ID object. The period has got a because the period I can't go below period. The reason is that's a problem. Let's see. Because period has got a statement ID and the statement ID is I can't we go below the statement ID is giving you only one level of this one. So let me again try the statement. Let's see I'll try one more time the statement name. I don't know, but let me see one more time. If it is not working, like no, we can't do that. So basically, we can go only one level down. We cannot be able to go two level down. And it is not working with the what you call like you know calculator or a formula columns. Let me try one more thing, it is working fine. Okay, let me refresh. Okay. No, it is not working. Let's see what one again should work. No, it is it will start working. It's totally stop working because it is not able to do that. So let me go and see that. Let me put that manually. Let's see if that could do that. Okay. Uh, ID period ID object dot statement ID. Let's see if that works. Let me go and shift that. Okay. Period ID object dot statement ID object dot name. Though it is not available, 
let me see whether it, that is okay. Okay, Good. yes, it is okay. So basically, we can be able to do that. So basically, you have to do manually, you have to attach that. Now, total statement is working on total. Uh, T is working on T, T is open T is open up validity. Okay, let me see. NICH is validated. Yeah. Okay, T then validated. Yes. And we put T why there are too many coming here. Okay, okay, it is basically like you know it is going KK, it is okay, it doesn't care about basically case. That's a good thing, like you know. Case search is going on case in search city. That is a good thing. Okay, that's all for the day. Uh, like you know, what we did was basically we created a text, uh, like you know, we can little bit uh, if you want to make it a little better, look better. You can go to the big designer, you can go to the code and say that, uh, like you know, you can change that to say eight, eight, something like that. So, okay. So the box is changed. Anyway, okay. Uh, now how does it look like? I can say search text, I can put that, or oh, I can name that, I can say that this is our text, I can say that, okay. Text, search, this ELC, which is search text, something like that, like, you know, that, that has to be a better way. Okay. So basically, like, you know, we have this attached to a variable, the variable is in the filter criteria of the the variable the filter of that uh, service provider that is attached to the table. That's all it is. Okay. If you have any question, as usual, please let me know. Thank you. Bye.